I have been using the Pixel 3a for quite a while now, ever since it's first launched. And the amount of time I spend with this phone, I gotta say, I'm very impressed. How much fun you get for just $400. You have an incredible camera, a gorgeous OLED display, and it's written the latest version of Android. And since this phone is officially by Google, expect it to constantly get future updates for a long period of time. And if this 5.6 inch screen is too small for you, you could just get the XL version for just $80 more. So if you've been in the market for a long time or just looking around and see what's available, here are five reasons why the Pixel 3a and possibly the Pixel 3a XL are worth buying. Well, let's first talk about its camera. For a phone that retails just $399, the 12.2 megapixel camera, the same size pixel that's found inside the Pixel 3. And this camera is known to even outperform the most expensive flagship phones out there in today's market. And then being the Pixel 3 budget version, there is no handicap limitations when it comes to filming video. The camera is more than capable to shoot up to 4K at 30 FPS. And the color accuracy thanks to that software is gorgeous. Your images are always going to go ahead and come out looking phenomenal. And this phone is still one of the few phones that actually takes gorgeous night shots as well. Since Google and other Pixel phones, they have something called night sight mode. So even when taking photos in low lighting conditions, the camera is guaranteed to always take some excellent looking shots. Portrait mode is fully supportive and lets you edit it after once you've taken the shot. The camera does support both JPEG and RAW, so even true photographers will love this. And if you're taking a photo of a moving object, the focus will always follow the moving subject. Number two, exclusive features in its software. Yes, some may argue that the Pixel 3, as well as other Pixel models, also share some of these features, but it's even more special for the 3A because, once again, it's incredible low price for a new phone. This phone is guaranteed to get access to all the cool stuff before other Android devices do. For instance, this phone has something called call screen. I'm sure we all receive phone calls from telemarketers, spammers, or we have an incoming call from an unknown number. Well, if you don't want to answer it, you can actually allow your Google voices to answer it for you. You'll be able to see the conversation being transcribed all on the screen and will give you the option to reply. If it's a spam number, you can just hit spam. And then Google will actually tell the telemarketer to remove this number from your mailing and contact list. So it's almost like having Jarvis from Iron Man being your personal assistant. It also has lens, which can be found inside the camera app. What lens does, it will automatically identify things that you're not aware or want to find out more information of. Like this TV remote, for instance. With lens, it will automatically search upon Google images and tell you more about the controller. So if you lose it, it will tell you where you could go ahead and buy it. And it's scary how accurate it is when it comes to identifying stuff sometimes. And then you also have flip to shish, which is basically a quick way to enable do not disturb by quickly flipping your phone flat on the screen on a flat surface. And then of course, since this phone is directly engineered by the team of Google, all your updates, security patches, the Pixel phone is always gonna get these updates first. Display. Once again, the Pixel 3a didn't cheap out on its resolution, as it is a 1080p by 2200. That's right, for an entry level budget phone, it's not using an IPS screen that we've been normally used to seeing. Not only does the display get very bright, the colors just look really rich, which makes viewing your content off the screen pleasant. Hardware. When it comes down to its internal specs, it isn't very impressive, as the Pixel 3 is still more powerful when you compare its specs on a piece of paper. But it's the OS that allows this phone to perform very well and powerful, as it's able to handle multitasking just fine, can also play some online games just fine. Not once have I felt this phone struggling or slowing down on me from day to day use. And then when it comes to its color options to choose from, there's three very unique names to choose from. You got this one for instance, this one's just their jet black, and then there's also the clearly white, and lastly, there's also the purplish option. The fingerprint reader on the back is very quick and will unlock in just a matter of milliseconds. The phone is light enough and feels fantastic in the hand. And more importantly, there still is an audio jack on top. Google didn't cheap out on its unique gestures as you're still able to squeeze the phone to launch to your voice assist. And lastly, let's talk about the battery life. 
Google actually marketed this phone to get up to 30 hours of battery life, and I think this is just its battery life on standby mode. Because that's just a ridiculous number to be true for a modern smartphone. Even with that adapted battery feature found inside Android 9, the best I'm honestly able to get is up to 6 hours of active screen time, which will normally leave me with at least 30% of battery life for an entire day. And that's just from normal use, like maybe watching 20 minutes of YouTube videos, scrolling on social media, replying to messages, making calls, and just searching things online. But if you ever find yourself low on batteries, it's good to know that this phone actually does support fast charging, which they include everything that you need already inside the box. So I don't expect anybody having issues when it comes to its overall battery life to make it throughout the entire day. So there you guys have it. That is five reasons why you should probably go ahead and check out the new Pixel 3a. If you're looking for a pure Android phone, the Pixel 3a is definitely a great value. Especially right now, they're offering a bunch of trade-in offers. So you can probably get this a little bit cheaper. To the tech head, this might not be the perfect phone because its specs aren't incredible when you compare it against other flagship phones on the market. But then again, those other phones are almost double or even more of the new Pixel 3a. So there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this video was informative, helpful for you. If it did, make sure to leave this video a big thumbs up as that now lets me know, but that also strongly helps support the channel. And I highly encourage you to also get subscribed for some upcoming exclusive content that trust me, you don't want to miss. But anyway, thank you guys once again for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.